The Climate Blog article of 2020 so far is up, and before we get to it, let's review some basics. We can be both environmentally proactive and scientifically accurate. This channel favors more stringent environmental protection and retroactive cleanup provisions, but we also demand that the people begin to realize the news hasn't been telling us the truth about climate change. Hundreds of studies over the last decade have now forced the IPCC and world climate experts from top groups to accept solar particle forcing into their models. So far, in three years since the availability of the first ever data set, no human-caused climate change article has elected to use that data set, not one. And while the papers showing solar climate forcing pile up on the other side, we're seeing the credibility of atmospheric temperature data and the alarmism in general routinely shredded by those who are keeping careful eye on such things. And we've seen a team from Harvard step in to do the same for the oceans. And if you look into how they take ocean temperatures across the world and over time and how it's changed, you will understand why. Now, in the playlist link directly below this video on YouTube, you can learn literally everything about why solar particle forcing is now introduced for the first time into climate models and how things are changing already, including from all of those world experts I mentioned a moment ago. But here today, we are going to deviate from our normal win-win paradigm on both environmental consciousness and solar climate forcing, and we're going to be taking a little more of the Tony Heller route. My pick for climate blog spot of the year, just hit climatism. Now, if you are aiming to go online and find negative things about them, you will succeed, as you will with everyone else not utterly falling in line. But as is often the case with the best of blogs, here we'll find a completely cited, coherently presented collection of experts' words, not theirs, and those experts' condemnation of what has happened so far at the IPCC and in climate science. 10 points to author Spry here, as these 46 statements are listed with the speaker and the quote, and each speaker name is a link to where they actually said it. In a way, this is 46 articles in one. And then, just to be awesome, the bios for all the people were placed below, and we've got Nobel Prize winners, including one of the ones who insists on the totally ignored truth that CO2 follows temperature not the other way around. We've got top professors, scientists from NASA, an international suite of voices that are worth hearing, including one who was the vice chairman of the IPCC itself. Now, if you are looking for a complex, detailed read on the fraud they've committed against literally the entire world, read it from one of the insiders in Confessions of a Climate Scientist. If you want the easy version, as I said, watch the video links we have right below the video, and definitely check out this 46 articles in one masterpiece of a blog spot. I can tell you that half the people on that list are cited in our upcoming book, so even as Wikipedia takes down the list of people opposing climate science this week, we can start anew here with a good foundation. I will eventually recommend the thousand or so authors I cite in the 500 works coming out of top universities and organizations and hitting every aspect of the atmosphere and climate change. By the way, when pre-orders become available, the entire citation list will also become available. It's not enough just to recognize how we've been swindled, but to clearly comprehend the long-term trends on this planet, what is really driving the climate, the luck we have endured the last few centuries, and the primary long-term mode of the Earth. Not in my words, again, in the words of the world's experts. Be safe, everyone.